Exactly 100 years ago, a graduate from one of the oldest institutions in the United States was elected governor of Virginia. And now Ralph Northam is the second Virginia Military Institute graduate to bear that title. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones gives us the history behind the two men. Cadets at Virginia Military Institute choose many careers after graduation, but it's been exactly 100 years between governors from the Institute. Virginia elected Westmoreland Davis as a Democratic governor in 1917. His picture now hangs in the admission office on post. It was uh, Governor Davis that established the, uh, the state highway transportation system, for example. Uh, he also uh, was, uh, came into office as an anti-prohibition candidate. The director of the VMI Museum says Davis was the youngest cadet to graduate from VMI in 1877 as a 14-year-old. He was also at the bottom of his class. He uh, had, uh, was a self-made man, uh, had become an, a lawyer uh, after VMI, and uh, did quite well. And Gibson says there's no indication Davis set out to become a governor until much later. The farmer needed someone to represent them in state politics, and I think that's what stimulated his, his, his interest in running for that position. Much like Davis, Governor-elect Ralph Northam started out on a different career path. It really, you know, helped shape me of who I am today, and just I had a great experience there. I took a commission in the United States Army when I graduated, ended up, you know, rising to the rank of major. Northam graduated from VMI in 1981. He says the military college played a major role in his election as governor. So after 100 plus years, it's, it's time to have another key debt uh, in the governor's office and, and time to have another doctor. And there are plans for Northam and VMI to reconnect in the future. We're already making arrangements to have the Corps march at our inauguration parade. I think that that will be a uh, reflective moment for him, thinking about that's where I began. In Lexington, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.